Daddy, ni zai yang. No, 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 I'm not sick. I'm good. <clears throat> it's just the pollution. It sucks. It's been bad all week. Fun fact you know what you can't see from space? The Great Wall. You know what you can? China's air pollution. <laughs> It's just like a like a thick gray block on the satellite imagery. It's gross. It dead. It's crazy. It's like an eerie sci-fi flick. <coughs> I think I'm getting a black lung pop. <coughs> mm? No, no, no. I haven't opened it yet. Let me take a look. Ooh, an infographic explaining PM 2.5. Awesome, Dad. <sighs> PM 2.5 particles less than 2.5 micrometers in diameter are called fine particles. Sources of fine particles include all types of combustion, including power plants, motor vehicles, and residential wood burning. Also, what is that? Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also heard there was a lot of heavy metals in the particles, like uh, mercury and lead, you know, heavy metals. <laughs> no. Okay, so I know all of this. China suffered the, the, the world's heaviest PM2.5 pollution, which is the direct result of over-reliance on coal, capitalized, um, in 2009, China burned near half of world coal, and uh, and coal accounts near 70% in China, not capitalized, in China's energy mix. Yo, who made this? Y'all need to get an editor for real. Get it together. But look, Dad, I'm not part of the sensitive groups, you know? Old people, kids, babies. Uh, unless I'm pregnant. <laughs> No, you're, the, you're not amused. Okay. Dad, <laughs> I know it's not a joke. So, I mean, I'll be careful, I promise. Yeah? Okay. I will. Love. Old man. <coughs> PM 2.5 and your health. Newly published research shows that more Chinese people die of air pollution than from smoking. This is according to the new study by Greenpeace and Peking University, conducted in 31 cities in mainland China, which shows deaths caused by PM2.5 hovering around 1 in 1,000, more than those caused by smoking. In 2013, the country's former health minister said air pollution is responsible for up to half a million deaths per year. However, a 2011 study by the World Health Organization set that figure at 1.2 million. PM2.5 is infamous for inducing chronic respiratory symptoms, but recently more attention has been paid to the soluble fine particles which can be absorbed directly into the bloodstream. This can lead to blood toxicity and cardiotoxicity, which can cause heart disease, disruptions to the nervous system in regulating heart activity, birth defects, and death. Soaring AQI index this week has forced the people, with the capital P, to stay indoors. Exposure to the toxic air has been deemed quote, hazardous. And now, in other news.
people spend like 80% of their time indoors here. I mean, instead of playing outside, kids are in inflatable domes. That generation just, they don't, they don't place themselves outside of the malls, outside of the classroom, outside of their homes. It's going to be tough. I mean, it's, it's literally like an evolution of people just to be like, kicking it indoors all day. The thought of it just makes me like, ah, I want to cry. But it seems like most major cities are increasing in pollution. They're all pushing people indoors, and we're just learning to get comfortable living in these artificial environments where, you know, we have internal gardens and rainforests. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you have to save the plants by keeping them indoors. Yeah, I mean, they said the air apocalypse in Beijing, you heard, right? That it's like a nuclear winter. You know, the conditions are the same. It's like we're in outer space. Oh my god, oh my god. I had this conversation with my dad earlier. I was totally talking about how it's like a sci-fi flick. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you chose to be here, so you just got to toughen it up. I mean, it was your choice. Think about the guys in Shanxi working the coal mines. Yeah. They don't have much of a choice. That's their life. <laughs> underground food court. What? You'd rather be out in the smog suit? It, I don't know. It makes me feel trapped. Well, your choice. Funny. Burritos? Yeah,我们这个是一个节日吧,跑友的 totally blocked by this thick layer of toxic air, reducing visibility for drivers and choking pedestrians like myself. About PM2.5, the number that measures these tiny particles in the air that can go straight into your lung or bloodstream, causing the most harm to your health. That number, if it goes above 300, considered hazardous. On Saturday, in some parts of Beijing, that number reached almost 1,000. Patricia? Now, Stephen, you say the sun is out. It looks like a white wall behind you. I can't imagine living like that. What are people saying? Don't you call in them? Bring through a week of dangerous air pollution levels. Even Chinese officials call the air unbearable. Pollution here is primarily caused by coal burning for heat and the more than 5 million cars on the road. Many of us have apps on our phones that tell us pollution levels. The EPA set up a scale of 0 to 500, with 500 being the worst. Today's pollution reading is above 500, beyond index. There's not much of a view from the 15th floor of American doctor Richard St. Cyr's apartment. Um, 
should you exercise outside on a bad day or not? Um, These are all the questions that you would find as a doctor, people would come to you and ask. Yeah, and it's things that I want to know. Get out of school for an air day. <laughs> well, did it work? The skies welcoming President Obama today have been dubbed APEC blue by residents. Well, at least residents who didn't flee in fear of the enormous sky fireball. What is this? Um, and more than a million people are dying a year prematurely. So this is a uh, this is a crisis. It, it's a crisis, but it's not the first country to deal with this. Of course, the that's great a, smog of 1952. I grew up in Southern California. That's a good point.